I wanted to make a quick video to show you how to share your calendar or how to use some of the more advanced functions of your calendar. So again, you log into your mail and click the calendar button in the upper left hand corner. When this opens, you'll see your list of calendars. If you click the little disclosure triangle next to your calendar's name, you'll see some options for your calendar. You can make it show only your calendar, you can hide your calendar completely, but the third choice down is the one we're going to look at, calendar settings. If you click calendar settings, this shows you settings for the particular calendar you clicked on. For instance, this is where you can change your name, the description, the location, and if you had a website that you wished your calendar to show on, this is where you could copy and paste this little bit of code into your website and you could see the calendar on your page, much like the six day schedule is on our main web page. The next tab over will show you how to share this calendar. My calendar is set to only be shared with people in the Pine Richland School District, which is probably what you would want to do with yours unless it's a more public calendar. If you have people added to your Google Contacts, you can simply start typing their name and you'll be able to share a calendar with them. You add them by their email address. It does work best if you have them already in your address book. So if I'm going to share mine with Mrs. Spikowskis, I just start typing her name, I click on it, and now she will show up at the bottom of my list. All I have to do now is click save and she will be sent an email telling her that I have shared my calendar with her and she will be able now to go in and see my calendar. I'm going to go back to this setting again under calendar settings. We looked at calendar details, share calendar, and the last one, notifications, allows you to give yourself a reminder for your calendars by default. So I have my calendar set by default whenever I make an event to send me a pop-up one hour ahead of the event and an email one day ahead of the event. So if I'm on my computer and it's one hour ahead of my event, it will take over my screen and say, you have this thing to do in one hour. And it will also send me an email the day before. These can also be set per event on your calendar. If I click on an event and edit the event details, the reminder options are down here. Well, that's all I wanted to show you today. Hopefully those will be useful little tips. Thanks for watching.